Hi everyone, my name is Julie Sebi, and I run the Big Mountain Analytics blog, which shares Spotfire, Alteryx, and Analytics content at least once a week. Please check it out and use the tags on the right-hand side of the screen to find the content that you're interested in. So this video is going to show you how to feed a dynamic query with a batch macro and discuss why you would want to do that. My workflow is using oil and gas data. It starts by looking at our database to find out which wells are in the frac phase. My query says give me all of the wells where the end date is null or the date diff between the start and end is less than 10. The result includes a column called JPP ID well and that's my well identifier. Now if I shift forward in the workflow a bit, you'll see that I have several dynamic queries. I'm feeding the dynamic queries a well list so that I only pull in data for the wells that I need. I'm doing that using a series of tools. First, it begins with a formula tool that simply puts quotes around my ID well. Then I use a summarize tool to concatenate that well string. And then it gets fed into the dynamic query where I modify the SQL and replace the ID well that's already in my template query. That's how I was making this work. And it did seem to be working. However, I noticed a truncation error within the summarize tool. And I was a little bit nervous about that, so I reached out to the new Alteryx Virtual Conference Center for some help, which I absolutely love, by the way. It's a great way to get help very, very quickly. I worked with Joseph in the Virtual Conference Center, and he actually suggested that I use a batch macro for this task. And so, funny enough, I actually learned how to make batch macros yesterday, so the timing worked out really well. So now I'll show you the batch macro that we built to actually replace each one of these dynamic queries. And it's only four tools. It's really, really simple. It's about as simple as a batch macro gets. So you can see that I start with a control parameter that I've named well ID. There's not much else to do in the control parameters. And then I have a update value action tool that's connected to my input tool that holds my query, and then an output. The most configuration in this workflow is the action tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag new tools so that you can see how I did that. So I'll have my control parameter, my action tool, I'll copy and paste my input, and drag that connected to my action tool. So if I go into the action tool and start expanding the options, I've selected, I've selected the file. And what I want to do here is replace just my ID well within the query. So I'll click replace string. And you'll notice that this populates the entire query in this very small text box. So what you'll need to do here is just control A, control C, control V, pop it in notepad. And then I'll copy and paste just my ID well, which is what I have done here. You can see this looks a lot simpler. And so what this batch macro will do is essentially query my data one well at a time and then put it all together in my main workflow. So I'm not quite ready to replace everything yet. I was still stress testing this, but you'll see here is my very first query where I'm getting all of the phase data. I've already attached the macro, but I'll delete it and redo it. So I just go to insert, macro. There's my macro and I am going to feed them in. Oh, I need to connect it. And now I'm going to feed the data in one well at a time. And if I hit run, now the data that I'm getting is all of the jobs associated with the wells that are in the frac phase. And so what this means is that I'll need to create a macro for each one of my dynamic queries. But as you can see, these are super simple macros and are very easy to build. You just, what I'll do is I'll just take my template queries from each one of these and copy and paste them into the input. So now you know how to use a batch macro to feed a dynamic query. Feel free to check out my other Alteryx content on BigMountainAnalytics.com.